Uh, yeah, I, I was just in a, um, a a very small meeting with with some developers who are working upstream on an idea, and uh, it's just related to the, the general area of using um, the ironic project project for bare metal provisioning. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been working on the triple O project for quite a while. Uh, um, it's a triple O for me has always been about trying to encourage a lot more upstream collaboration around deployment tools. Um, and so various different projects have kind of come out of that. So like Ironic, for example, you know, has really taken off as um, you know, really great bare metal provisioning tool, not just for provisioning, provisioning OpenStack, but also for provisioning kind of workloads, whether it's you know, hosts for running containers or that kind of um, The specific discussion we were having was just a, a networking discussion about um, if you're deploying um, machines with Ironic, how to do multi-tenant networking um, using Neutron. And so it was a really interesting discussion about using Neutron to configure um, physical switches that the physical machines are connected to, and for the same kind of networking abstraction to be used for virtual machines and bare metal machines, and to be able to connect them together. So that's really exciting for provisioning OpenStack, but it's also really exciting for, if you think about containerized workloads running on bare metal or virtual machines and to have them all network together in a multi-tenant environment, really, really exciting stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Is that kind of those ideas getting bounced around here, or was that something that you brought with you that people are already deciding um, to talk about? This was an engineer at, 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 at a Red Hat partner mm -hmm. who's having a design summit session this week, um, and it actually touches on another um, Thing I care about, so diversity within in our community. Yeah. This particular partner is coming from, you know, a different culture. It's not a Western culture, not great English, and really, kind of in that context, what makes design summit sessions um, successful is if that person presenting their really, really interesting idea um, kind of has an advocate, advocate who can kind of be their their player to to really help make sure that the, you know all the English speakers don't kind of go off in their own little. Um, discussion and, and that the, the person presenting the idea is kind of involved here. So this was just a, a side meeting just for us to get familiar with what the idea being presented was so that we can actually, you know, really allow that person to be successful in, in their design summit session. So kind of ushering somebody in and giving them kind of almost some help getting yeah. established in the community yeah. or in the, okay, yeah. interesting. So, like, for example, um, I guess the reason why that's on top of my mind now is um, in the board meeting on Sunday, the board approved a, um, a what do we call it, a diversity working group um, with a kind of a broad charter of you know, gender diversity, geographical diversity, cultural diversity, socio-economic circumstance diversity, mm -hmm. like trying to cover the whole gamut. Um, and really it's just about creating a, a group that will be able to sponsor um, new programs in this area, and it could be anything from like the women of OpenStack group have been, you know, doing tremendous work on their own so far. And I think it's about trying to find other programs similar to that and sponsoring them. So you can imagine, for example, um, say in this particular community, say the Chinese or Japanese or Indian community, that you might have programs to try and identify you know, key leaders in those communities to act as role models and to mentor other people and kind of have them um, you know, get involved in the community. So that's trying to just grow the very broad diversity of the community. Okay. So my keynote today was talking about uh, Red Hat's support and what I've learned about Red Hat's attitude to support in the past while is we have contracts which kind of specify our SLA but when you talk to our support organization they really go out of their way to do whatever they can to um, really su support customers in whatever context. Um, so sometimes the, 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 the conversation gets a little bit confused but you know, we support RHEL and our support engineering uh, you know, we'll do whatever they, they, they can to support um, people running RHEL users with a RHEL subscription, support them in whatever they're doing, no matter what they're running on top of RHEL, right? So from that context, absolutely support. Mm -hmm. um, are you participating in any more sessions while you're here? I'm giving a talk later on today, and it's kind of my... Uh, it's trying to share some of my, I guess, insights about open source culture and my experiences of other projects and trying to relay, I guess, where I'd like to see the open source community improve its culture a little bit. Um, yeah, so how bit, would that? Yeah, so, so some of it is a little bit hard to articulate because it's really, really ob obscure, not obscure, but um, hard to describe some of it. So one way I'm trying to describe it is the difference between kind of a top-down hierarchical organization versus kind of a, a bottom-up kind of empowering non-hierarchical organization. Mm -hmm. I think it's really the latter is 
what's successful in, in an open source context, and we kind of miss the point of that sometimes in the open tech community. I think part of that is, you know, it's a new community with lots and lots of people involved, and you know, many of them haven't necessarily been involved in open source before, but have come from companies with a proprietary background and really understand the hierarchical yeah. organization structure. But I think um, for OpenStack to be successful and to solve some of the scaling problems it seems like it's going to be a much more non-hierarchical kind of um, power structure. Mm -hmm. So that's what we'll talk about okay. later. Once I finish writing the talk.